The Senebogen 835M is a materials handling machine. It has a weight of 44 tonnes and can lift a maximum load of 7 tonnes. The model comes in a variety of different paint schemes. 784 is in Senebogen's Green Line colour scheme. Model 78402 is in the colours of OOC, which is a Dutch inland terminal operator. Model 78403 is in the colours of the Dutch transportation company De Vaard. Model 78401 is in the colours of the Dutch company OBM, which is another terminal operator. All versions of the model come in a standard Senebogen branded box, which includes just a few specification details about the real machine. It's well packed inside a couple of polystyrene trays, with the model wrapped in some tissue. The three versions of the model which are in special company colours include this bulk grabber, but this is not included in the Senebogen Green Line version of the model. However, all the models do come with an orange peel type of grab. The other thing included with the model is a bag of small parts, and although there's no instructions on how to fit them, it's easy enough to see how they get fitted to the model. The model itself has some tissue wrapping and that always adds a quality feel. It's a snug fit in the box, which means it's protected well, which means that when you pull it out you just need to hold on to something fairly solid and not one of the smaller parts, and then the model just lifts out simply and you can remove the tissue and then the model is unboxed. The main part to fit on the model is an access platform that sits outside the cab, but if you don't want to fit that, NZG thoughtfully provide a couple of plastic parts which go into the holes that the platform would plug into. That means if you want to display the model in a transport mode, the look of the model isn't impaired by not having the platform. However, if you want to display the model in a working mode, you can just remove the plastic inserts and then that leaves holes for the platform itself just to plug into. And that's a very easy fit, it just slots into place and you push it into position. The only other part then to fit is a working tool and that just pins onto the end of the stick and that's uh, very easy to do, you just offer it up and uh, after a bit of fiddling you can get the pin in and then you just push the hydraulic hoses into a connection point in the stick. Underneath the chassis detail is pretty good with the transmission elements all modelled in metal. The tyres have a very good tread pattern and are mounted on detailed hubs and the cab detailing is very good both inside and out. The grab rails and windscreen wipers are particularly finely done. The stabiliser pads and beams are metal and the body shape is modelled very well. Detailing on top of the body is also very good with lifting eyes for the counterweight and plenty of hydraulic hoses. The boom and stick also look good because they've got hydraulic hoses and pipes throughout. And the quality continues down into the work tools which are made of metal and have hydraulic connections to the stick. The paintwork and graphics on all four versions of the model is very good. The Senebogen Greenline version is certainly striking and it's probably the simplest decoration. The OBM version looks good in blue and green with an interesting logo. The OOC version is perhaps the most colourful with its strong yellow and blue contrasting colours. And the Devard version is just as good as the other three versions of the model. Moving on to the test track, the model rolls well as you would expect. And if we check underneath, we see that the wheels on the rear axle are all fixed to it. So if you turn one, then they all turn. And at the front, the steering range of movement is very, very good. So you can put it on a tight turn, and then the model realistically traces out a tight curve when you push it along. The real machine can operate off its tyres at reduced capacity. Or for increased capacity, you can lower the stabilisers. And all the stabilisers work on the model. Um, they are on very, very stiff cylinders, but that does mean that um, they won't give when you rest the model on it. Um, they're very, very stable. If you lower all four stabilisers, they easily hold the model off the ground. The real machine is designed for working with big stock piles or perhaps loading ships and barges, so the operator's cab can be raised and lowered to give a good view, and that's uh, replicated on the model, and it works with little cylinders, which again are stiff enough to hold any pose that you want to set, and it's a smooth mechanism that works very well. When you've got a grab load of stuff it's good to swing it about a bit so rotating the model is very easy, nice and smooth mechanism. The hydraulic rams on the boom and stick are very stiff and that's a good thing because it does mean that you can pose it any way you like. The range of movement is very good in terms of reaching out 
and the model is stable. In fact, even if you stretch it out to the maximum possible reach, as long as you've got the stabilizers down, the model will stand without tipping over. There is one issue though, which is that the stick can't fold up tight to the boom, and that's probably because the hydraulic ram has got a piston that's a little bit too long. And so you can't lower the boom completely flat to make a realistic load for a low loader. The work tools work well. This is the orange peel grab. It opens up quite widely and with some careful posing you can close it and actually get it to grip something so that it can hold it. And the tool also rotates nicely on its connection. The clamshell grab also rotates on its connection and again it opens up very well. It's got stiff cylinders which hold the pose. And this is a good quality part that's included with the special livery versions of the model. On the whole this is a very good quality model from NZG. The detailing and features are good and the paintwork and graphics are very good, particularly on the company colour versions. Overall this is an interesting model that's highly recommended. Mm -hmm.